Hey, 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 I'm back with another video. This is your boy, Forever Brandon TV, coming back to you guys with another video on Mibs. Mibs of Pac Pacific Division. Pac Div, as you all know, Pacific Division is an underground group uh, that I've been a fan of for a while. They haven't made anything like in the last. Uh, I want to say like last three years or four years or something like that. But anyway, Mibs is one of the members of Pacific Division. As you know, him, his brother, and his best friend formed a group. If I'm saying it correctly, it could be the other way. But anyway, they formed a group called Pacific Division. They are an American group from uh, Los Angeles, California. Guys, Mibs has, is, is, has a solo album out entitled Killer of Sheep, guys. Now, for one, what caught my attention about this damn album cover was the face paint. Okay, I'm like, okay, is, 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 he, is he a part of Strange Music? Is he a part of, you know. But anyway, you just know, you, I, just, I just noticed a lot of rappers have ways of uh, you know expressing themselves and usually face paint with masks and things like that and I noticed that Mibs is very very outspoken uh, this album itself has 10 tracks now I was expecting it to be like a little bit more than 10 tracks because this boy got a got a mad flow uh, four point play he was going in on this song let me tell y'all something I mean that flow that flavor that he got that method man flavor that red man that kind of that old school flavor I was definitely feeling it it was dope uh he was just saying you know he got three bitches he got you know he's just you know stunting he's stunting basically on the song and I was definitely definitely feeling it uh, I really, really love it. That was number one. Number two of the album is Gospel featuring T Flex. Gospel is just kind of, in my opinion, relating to like the black community. You know, he's talking a lot about people dying every day. You know, uh, uh, just what it is, what it's like to be black and struggle. Uh, I was definitely feeling that. Night had a nice beat on the song. I was definitely feeling it. It was dope. That was number two. Number three, oh my, oh my lord. Oh my, oh my lord. Now, I even though I felt like he was saying that a little bit way too much, I still was feeling it. It had a different flavor to it. It was kind of dark. You know, it had a nice dark beat to it that I was definitely feeling. And I, I was definitely feeling it. I thought it was a dope song. Um, Hustle Man, which is number four. Now, Hustle Man was just talking about hustling and getting your money and, you know, making it in the streets. And it's just it's just dope. It, it was, it's just a, a real dope song. I definitely was feeling the song. Um, number four. Five, uh, call the police. Uh, basically, uh, it's just kind of a crazy song, a little bit featuring uh, Slim Gravy, guys who I don't really know too much about, but I, I liked it the beat, I liked it the song, I liked it his verse. Uh, it, 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 it wasn't really, wasn't really my favorite of the album, but I still fucks with it. I said okay, I gave it a listen, and I thought it was dope. I was definitely feeling it. Then we get a uh, bang featuring Buddy, which is I believe number six of the album. Uh, bang was just basically he was saying he gonna take his belt off or something like that. You know, he basically saying he gonna whoop somebody ass on the song, and I was definitely feeling it. Uh, uh, it was dope. It was dope. It was dope. American Me, which is um, number seven of the album. Yes, American Me had a nice flavor to it that I was feeling. You know, it was just kind of like, uh, kind of political in a way. You could say it was kind of political. It, it was very short, but I was definitely feeling the song. Now, Night Rider, which is the probably the nastiest song on this album, I was definitely feeling it. This is probably one of my favorites of the album. Y'all, he was talking a little shit on this song. You know, talking about this girl gonna be his Night Rider and you know, do 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 some strange for a little piece of change, basically. You know, uh, he was just kind of nasty on the song a little bit, but I fucks with it. It was featuring Tree. I don't really know who that is, but uh, I, I was I fucks with the beat. I fucks with the verse. Uh, he was doing his thing. Mibs got a nice flow on the song. When I say I, uh, I played this probably like twice, yo, this is this is one of my favorites of the album. Uh, then we get Tell Me About featuring Blue. You know, it just kind of, you know, he just was just really, really going in on this song. Uh, I was definitely feeling the beat. Uh, his flow, his flow. And I'll tell you something about, about his flow. The flow was definitely cool. It was giving me this Method Man feel. It kind of gave me a little Method Man, a little Red Man, uh, a, a little Wu-Tang Clan. It just kind of had a little Wu-Tang Clan 
flavor on it. Right along with the last song, uh, Don't Fuck With Me featuring Buddy. Uh, this song was just probably another one of my favorites. I, I, it just had an old school flavor to it, but with a, with an ill flow. That, that 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 that's just amazing. You know what I noticed about him as a rapper? He is, uh, he talks a little political, but he also talks about what he's going through in his day to day life. Uh, Mibs need to keep on making more, even though I expected a little bit more from him on this album. I expected like more songs, you know, because this seems more like an EP than an album to me. But I definitely, definitely, definitely messes with it. This, this, according to him, it's an album. Uh, I'm not sure if it'll be in stores or anything like that, but you can download it. You can listen to it. Uh, I would suggest it. I, I would hope that it's on iTunes because then he'll get revenue. But if it's not, I definitely messes with it. I definitely like the way he, you know, um, expresses himself through face painting. And it just kind of reminds y'all know what I'm finna say. It reminds me of, but I'm not gonna even, I'm not gonna even, I can't keep talking about Tech Nine on every single video, guys. But it just kind of reminds me of that because the people on Strange Music have their different ways of expressing themselves through face paint and, you know, but anyway, I just def definitely, definitely like Mibs. I really, really think that he's got something going on with this 10-track album. Guys, listen to it. If you like real hip-hop, if you like hip, real hip-hop, uh, underground hip-hop with a little trap flavor on there, with a little twist of a little Method Man flavor, this is the rap for you. I would suggest you go listen to it. Um... Uh, I, I think that he sort of kind of has a character in a way, and Pacific Division, period, kind of has a character in a way, in the way that they rap, and the way that they, you know, do their music, and how they do their music, and how they uh, express themselves. Y'all, y'all, y'all will mess with it. This is Fab Rap. So we're coming back to you guys with another video. Please enjoy your Monday. This is uh, almost going to be October coming up, so guys, you know, get get those masks out. You know, have fun and uh, enjoy, guys. This is Favorite Brandon TV signing out.